Hi everybody. I haven't made a video for a while. I wanted to share what I've been working on. There was a challenge Friday night on over at Craft That Divas. Um, Miss Tiffany was having a challenge and it was to make a folder box. A box made out of a file folder. And this is what I came up with. I thought I'd share it. This is um, die cuts with a view paper. It was a tea theme for me. I love tea. So I decided to use that paper on my box. These are uh, sticker letters that I got from a mail um, swap. I think it was junk, junk journal junkie swap where you could spend, send an envelope full of stuff to each other. And uh, this was in my swap back. So I used those. This is the side. I like the butterfly. That was also in my junk journals happy mail swap. This is that side. And when you open the box at the top, this way, little pocket tag, and where you cut off, I just use the paper on the front here. In. And then for the box part, flip it open. Whoop. Don't see inside of my box. And you can fit a book in there. I haven't made one yet, but I'm thinking about it. And this flips open. But I had fun making this. And a lot of them the girls were using magnets. You could use a magnet to close it. Um, I might use a belly band. I'm thinking maybe that. Or some pretty ribbon to tie around. Yep, that's my box for Craft That Divas Challenge. And the challenge was last Friday. So I figured I wanted to post this video and get it up so you can check it out. And it's over on Facebook, Craft That Divas by Tiffany. And I've been using a lot of my index cards, um, making them a day you know posting on my blog and on my Facebook page I figure I'd just do a real quick slide slide of my index cards and this is day 21 use paint in the background so paints and um, die cut hearts It's day 22. Paint in the background. Again, I was using Viva rubs and the Inca paints. These are also posted on my blog and also on Facebook, my Facebook page, and over on Pinterest. I made a folder of them over there, too. I just can't believe I'm one day. I think 100 and... Tomorrow will be 115. This is from Alex Stamping Stamps. She's no longer... Producing stamps, she retired, her and her husband. And uh, we used... Oh, what was the name of it? 
It was a rubber thing. Ah, I'll have to show you again sometime. I explained it on my blog when I posted this. It was the palette stamping. This is day 26. Static. And that's why she taped in the background the Eiffel Tower. I love pears. And these stamps are from Stampin' Hand. And the border is from Stampers Anonymous. And this was a um, card, a little note card that I liked a lot. So I just stuck this on my index card for day 28. The stamp is from Stampers Anonymous. This is on day 29. I had these are a lot of old stamps that I've had. I've been stamping for 31 years now. And this is another old stamp from Stampers Anonymous. Even though now they're on cling, back then they didn't have the cling, they just had the wood mounted stamps on Stampers Anonymous. This is in July, um, day 31. This is um, embossed in white and blue cardstock. This is a Stampington flag stamp. I stamped it in um, embossing powders, blue and red, and did a little distress ink in the background. This was day 23. Magenta stamp, and this was an amount of stamp. I don't know who that's from, and it's the same way with the ice cube. And I put um, glossy accents on the ice cubes and on the picture where the ice is at, too. It's another 4th of July one, day 34. It's um, holographic um, bossing powder and black backgrounds on the, in sparkle, and I use some. Um, Perfect Pearls, if you can see that glittery and shimmery. It's another one, this is from, this stamp is from, I think, Stamping Tin and Company, the stars and the flag. This is day 36. This background is um, tea bag. I cleaned the tea bags out and dried them. Stamped on top of them. These pairs are from um, Stampin' Hand. And I used my um, multicolor uh, flakes, um, leafing flakes. I got these a long time ago, a bag of leafing flakes and it's different colors all in the bag. This is, I love to scream, you scream, or I scream for ice cream. Day 39. This stamp here was um, from Alex Stamping where you make a cloud, make clouds with her stamp and the ink pad. This is also on my blog of what it was and information on that. This was day 40. This is day 41. This was um, Rollograph. Whoop. Rollographs, two Rollograph stamps, the seashells and the waves in the background. I blue embossed them and purple uh, powder embossed them. Day 42, I used um, Soka paints in the background and just used a little hairspray lid and dipped it in ink and rolled it around and used uh, circles, make circles. This is day 43. Day 44, 
Some hold stamps. This was day 45 for me. I pen pal and I like this kind of stamps. This I made mistakes. I guess you could call it a happy mistake now. But I had fun making it. And so I call it tarnished metal. There's foil, and I use gesso and alcohol inks, and I use um, copper paints, and it just it got rusty. It even feels like it's tarnished and metal. And this was on day 46. Day 47. This is foil embossed chick. Day 48. Day 49. This is day 50. This is um, a chalk, popping chalk technique. The chalk's in the background. Day 51. Some of the sayings I like, I think are funny. Day 52. This is day 53. I like mod. And this is day 54. This is my some of my washi tape for the love of washi. Steampunk stamp set that I got at Tuesday mornings one day. My husband found this stamp at Michael's. And I was looking for something and he saw it in the dollar bin and he said, Oh, you might like this. The time you enjoy wasting is not wasted time. This is day 56, and I found a little mason jar, of plastic mason jar at um, Michael's that had all these different travel stamps in it and stuff, and they were like discounted for like four bucks, so there's like, I think, oh, there's maybe 18 in the, in the jar, and that's day 57. These are like pop bottle images. It's day 58. This saying was on a birthday card that somebody sent me, a friend, and I just liked it, so I put it on a index card. Day 59. And this was in a dollar bin at Michael's, the note cards. This is day 60. This is day 61. This was the last day over on Daisy Yellow Group over on Facebook that you were doing um, the uh, index cards of a day. That was on um, 7-31-14, July 31st was the last. But I decided to continue to do them for a year. Let's see if I can do it. So far, so good. And then another pair that I just... I just love doing this design with my Marby markers. This is a stamp in hand technique they showed us a long time ago to use your Marby markers. It's day 63, puppy stickers. And this background is my um, shaving cream technique that I love doing. And the inks I used were from D. Gurney's um, Posh Impressions. Uh, I think it was um, Caribbean Colors. Day 64. Another shaving cream background. This is Day 65. And day 66. Another shaving cream background. Day 67. 
I love tea, like I said. I was in a swap doing note cards, and you had to use um, harvest or autumn theme. So I put some glossy accents on the strawberries, and this dye is like from um, Quick Cuts, this little basket, so cute. And the same way with jam jar, it's, um, jam jar from Quick Cuts. And that was my note card. And the robin nest beads on the bottom. Then on the back, I signed it like this. And then since we're getting into fall, I, I, I love fall, and this is some of the paper from Die Cuts with a View last year's harvest. It's day 69, I just used my postage stamp punch and punched different cardstock out of it. That's day 69. And this is day 70. Day 71. That's day 72. And this is day Robin Williams died. Day 73. And then it's another one for day 73. Life is adjustable cherries. Bullies. <laughs> Day 74. Day 75 is a die cut mason jar. And it's day 76. I made this die out of it's a die cut, but I cut it from my Sizzix Eclipse the leaf. Day 77. This is a stamp that I got a long time ago from a convention. Day 78. Day 79. This is day 80. Day 81. This is day 82. And this is day 83. This is um, cotton stamp and cotton stain that I got at the convention one year. And I used liquid applique on top of this cotton bulb stamp and puffed it out. This is day 84. The vellum stickers. This is day 85. Day 86, this is, um, I used my leaf embossing folder that I got at the convention this past April. And, uh, th this leaf was cut with my Sizzix, and the background is, a uh, leaf embossed folder. And I used, um, Viva Decor Paints, the 3D simple ones for your stamps and that, and just rubbed them in. Day 87, day 88, day 89, this was a tree punch and small maple leaf punches, I suck one there, an oak. This was a dress form that I stamped and then I took the oak stamp punch and I punched it out and put them all in the dress form. I call it the fall dance. This is day 90. This is day 91. 
Let's put some paint on background there, metallic, and swirled around and stamped on top. It's another background that I swirled, and I used this is day 92, and I used this tool that I got years and years ago, and it's just like a pouncer like, but it just has this texture and all that in the back. So I've had this for a long while, so I just used that and swirled it and pounced it and see the different texture it gives. It's day 92. This is day 93. Day 94. No, wait, yeah, day 94. This is, I got two of them. Day 94. The background is um, a book, and I just swirled and used that. And then I have an, a finer one, does a little different texture. Got these both at the convention years ago. Day 95, and that was embossed with a lasting impression of embossing. Die, or yeah, I'll call it a die. And it's from Lasting Impression. I got this years and years ago, too. I'm using what I have, all my old stuff. I could have cut this out and mounted it, and you know, but I just did it really quick. I called it Capture because of the leaves and the colors. Day 96 is many moods of a dog. I had these stickers I thought were cute and fun. And this is day 97. Are you ready for some football? Uh, my son was in football. Little League, Pee Wee, whatever you want to call it. And I've had these stickers for like forever and ever. So I used them one here. And that was, I think, preseason was starting or getting ready for the real season of NFL. Day 99, there's just some stickers that I liked and wanted to use them, keep them, so I used them on my card. Again, the background was used with my dauber textures. Who doesn't like chocolate? Some Baby Ruth. I haven't had a Baby Ruth in a long time. Some peanuts or M&M peanuts. Chocolate is nature's way of making up for Mondays. This is day 100. <clears throat> this background was I used um, D. Gurney's um, sponge, the rainbow sponge in the background here. And on the top I white embossed with the newsprint from D. Gurney Posh Impression Stamps. And I got this set. I got pen. It's a pen called Pen Pal Collection Pink Paisley, and I like to pen pal. And I got some pen pals, and so I thought this was a neat set. It's a stamp set, and it comes with um, all these stamps, and it also comes with a die, a typewriter die, which I love using. To do a lot of things with it. Like in here I stamped OMG on the paper and the typewriter and then I got a card ready and made my own stationery tonight because I'm going to get ready to write my pen pal and I used the dye and embossing um, black onyx embossing powder to glitter and I got like the pen pal chipboard and stuff that come with it that you could buy and I took this stamp that I have that I got at the convention a long time ago and voila. And you can also um, type, print out like a section of it on the computer and just, you know, cut out and put the paper right there on top of that and look like it was typed. I did that um, for a hostess card and I sent that off and I typed it in a little letter of thanks for hosting it and um, just adhered it to the 
you know, the area where the paper looked like it was being typed. So you could do all things, kind of things. And then this is how I finished the back of the card with it, with a stamp. Just stamped in there then. But yeah, this is some card I made in the stationery. My new washi tape that I've been getting this week in the mail. So that's that. This is day 103. This is um, duct tape called Real Tree that I got at Michael's. This is day 104. Be different. This is day 105. This is a moon guy. And these stamps are from Studio G from Joann's from last year, whenever. You can fill in the blank journal of peculiar events. And I used my um, stamps, black and Bosdom, and script background. There's another one. Um, it was a blank line, but I put rubber stamping is an addiction and therapy rolled into one. And this is a die cut from the um, Eclipse store. And I call it, what's in your mind, what's on your mind. And this is day 109. I had these little Snoopy stamps for the longest time. Not stamps, but stickers. So I used them, and then this Schultz one, or Snoopy one, I got at, um, called Shaker Woods. It's um, arts festival, and it's all in the woods. A lot of crafters, and I like them. And the stamps are pretty interesting. They remind me of the metal that the, they used a long time ago in our newspaper where we fifth graders took a tour where the newspaper was. And they had these metal plates with you know, different images. This, was, this is on a wood railroad tie, and the wood from it. This is how they mounted it. This was from Shaker Woods Festival. And it's copper metal on top here. And I saw the Schultz, or the Snoopy one. I thought it was pretty cool. So I got an initial. And then day 110 is um, a globe. And it was used, I used it with my slice machine for the die. It's a globe. It's from the vintage cartridge on the slice machine. Day 111. This stamp is from um, Passed by a Sensor. It's um, Sensor Stamp. It's from River City Stamps. And the other stamps, postage and that, are from Hero Arts. This stamp set is from Stampin' Up. And I use acetate and alcohols in the background, the acetate. And this is day 113. This is all set is also from Stampin' Up. It's all one set. And I use my new washi tape in the background. And alcohol inked. This is the 114 today's day. Alcohol ink in the background. And I made one for tomorrow already, so I'm going to show that one. This is my second love washi and this is some of the new tapes that I got this was in the happy mouse swap over on Facebook from junk journal junkies and these tapes I got the other day in the mail that I ordered from eBay all right I just wanted to share that and let everybody know what I've been doing hope you enjoy the video and come see us over at craft that divas it's a lot of fun over on Facebook all right good night <laughs> bye